Hello, good morning, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today I wanted to bring you back and show you what I do as the next stage of my easy digital papers. So you remember yesterday we used all these pieces and we glued them together, but not properly glued. We just tack glued them to hold them while we put it through the scanning element of our printer. And we did a copy and this is what we got. So that was yesterday's video. Well, in today's video, I have now, because they were only tacked together, and you can see some of the bits of paper that have been left behind, I've now dismantled the entire sheet to give me all the individual components. Because, you know, I don't want to waste any of these. And having done my scan, that piece is no good to me anymore. I don't need it for anything. You can glue it properly, as I said yesterday, and use it in a journal. But because of the many layers, it makes it quite thick. So I like to do it this way. So I've dismantled the whole thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to make two tags. <clears throat> so I have got all those pieces. And I've also got some of my safety pin embellishments. I've got some little button squares and some printed fabric. So I thought I would start with the larger piece of my Sears book and I'm probably going to cut down that line there. One of the things I like about these advert pages is they are divided up for you. They give you very easy tear lines because they put the lines between the actual adverts, it makes it nice and easy to um, use lots of individual pieces without losing too much, if that makes sense. So we're going to start probably about there, and I'm going to cut off around there. It's probably not straight, doesn't really matter. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm then going to take part of this invoice. And I want to put him on top. So I'm just going to move that down a bit. And of course, because this is going to be a finished tag, this one I will glue down completely properly. I don't know if I want a set, yes, look, like that, that second piece. There, so let's get some ink, we'll get this tag inked up and then we can start gluing these down because obviously we want them glue properly this time. Now tag making is obviously nothing special. You've all done this a million times before and you don't need me to tell you how to do it. This was more about let's not waste the pieces that we use for our digital sheets and let's just take it apart and reuse it into something permanent. I hate waste. Nothing makes me more angry than waste. Um, as my daughters will confirm, when they were growing up at home, nothing made me more angry than things that got thrown away unnecessarily. So that's why, to me, to dis dissemble Dissemble, is that a word? To take that page apart and make something else from it is the only answer. So let's get that glow out of the way and let's start. 
start blowing up our pieces. So this advert piece is going on the back. This paper is obviously very thin, so we do have to be a little bit careful with it. And we're going to set it nearer the bottom and to the left hand side just so we can see a little bit of a frame and then we're going to do is that you can see you see where i pulled it apart the bits that got left behind but because we're gluing it down nobody's going to see it it really really doesn't matter again a little bit of a frame on that side okay and i'm going to stop there for two seconds and I'm going to grab a stencil, she says, you can never find one when, you, when you're looking. And I've got this clock one, it's not really the one that I wanted, but it will do. And I'm just going to take... small amount of glue, I don't want it dark, I just want some further interest across the top, yeah, and then you can go really dark in some areas, yeah, at the bottom this Roman Newman area just like that just to add a little bit extra <coughs> excuse me sorry if I'm um, not my usual boomy voice this morning it is quite early here it's only about 7am and everybody else is still in bed so I'm just doing a little bit of this with you guys and trying not to wake everyone up. There you go. And I'm thinking now that I might put a small amount of this music paper across the bottom. like that and then I'll trim that sorry I'm just looking if I like the three layers or if I actually want to cover it up with a bit of music page I might just go on the shorter piece there I think that looks better and bring it in on the angle so you still get to see all the bottoms there and then I think I'm going to take my little fabric square that's got buttons on it and I'm going to pop it to the middle area like so Yes, so, oops, stuck me tag to my glue book now, goodness me, it's all going wrong. So I'm going to glue my fabric. Now this is only Pritt Stick, but one of the things that I've come to realise is that Pritt Stick is absolutely awesome for gluing down fabric and it doesn't show through like Fabri-Tac does. Give it a go, see what happens. I love it. Overhang it slightly so it's off the edge. Just press in between all those buttons, but still keeping the creases in the fabric quite deliberately. Okay. <coughs> and 
one way now of keeping this flat. So I'm thinking that what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put some little bit of lace or fabric under there to hold it in place. So I did have, what did I do with it? I had on my desk there a little tiny bit of this white lace. And if I can poke that through there, like so, I can glue that like that and that will just hold that safety pin. So I'm going to put some glue there, I'm going to glue down that bit and then I'm going to glue it, oops, again. I'm just going to give it a good press. There you go. So obviously we don't want all that extra. So I'm just going to trim that off, press it down again. I need to set it aside for that glue to really go off. But there you go. And this piece of lace and this little cotton that I've sewn the buttons to are the only new pieces. All the rest of it is what we used yesterday. So I'm going to quickly do the other one um, while I'm here with you. And hopefully you will consider going away. Well, not going away. It makes it sound like I don't want you here. <laughs> But reusing the pieces that you had in your sheet yesterday also. So I think we'll have this, this edge here. And I think this time we'll go as it were down the middle. Okay, so let's ink it up. And this time I'm going to ink up the ledger page as well as the actual tag. And I did think that maybe next time I come back to you, <clears throat> I might look at doing a video on safety pins and paper clips and just share with you some of the things that I use them for. So if you're interested in that, look out for the next video. I'm not 100% sure it will be tomorrow because everything goes back to normal tomorrow. Abby's it's back at work, first time in 2021. I don't know if you can hear, but Boo's having a good old growl in the background now. She's obviously woken up. So I do apologise if uh, she barks and makes you all jump in a minute. One or two of you have said that you have dogs that listen in for boo. <laughs> right, now I've just realised, look, see I was talking and I didn't mean to do that. So I'm just going to peel this side back up like so because I want to get this in and I'm not concentrating. So I'm going to cut that again. That's because I was telling all about safety pins and paper clips and I heard the dog go. And we're just going to tuck this in right down there like that. That's better. Now I'm happy. And then this time I think I'm going to have the music going up the side. 
not going to ink this one. I like to have some inked and some not. I think it just adds for interest. So, whoops. One of fingers and thumbs now. There we go. I'll put that one up there like that. And this time I'm going to add the butterfly card. I'm going to trim off this white because I just want the coloured image. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to put him across the middle like so but I'm just going to put that little bit of lace from just now underneath there you go okay just need a little bit of glue there where I peeled that bit up <coughs> Excuse me. And then I think we're going to have this one with the charm. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my safety pin. I'm going to make a hole, poke it through, and then do it up again. So we actually have it pinned through and we've created extra layers just like that and obviously that will now flip up okay so as always thank you for coming to join me i hope you've enjoyed that had some inspiration on how to repurpose the pieces that we used in yesterday's Easy Digital. Thanks for joining me. Take care. See you soon.